Lawrence County gets ready for a road trip to Lincoln County. Summertown will welcome in Wayne County. Plus, a local product went off for a career high for UNA yesterday. It's coming up next on Exports Tonight. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome to Exports Tonight. I'm AJ Good. Starting things off with high school basketball where Lawrence County will be in back in action tomorrow night. The Wildcats will head to a local rival in Lincoln County, a team now outside of their district as they are looking to pick up a pair of wins. The Wildcats will have their first two road games of the season on Tuesday night as both will head to Fayetteville to take on Lincoln County. The Lady Cats are 3-1 on the year while the boys are a perfect 3-0. The Falcons are an old district foes and have remained on the schedule for the time being. The Lincoln County boys are 2-3 on the year while the girls are 2-2. Lawrence County certainly has had its history with these teams in the past and both sides know that Tuesday night will be a battle. It's always tough going to Lane County. They're always they're always well coached and they're just gonna play hard. I mean I watched them play against Summertown and I watched them play against East Hickman. They they take like fifteen charges a game, they dive on loose balls, they do things that other teams don't want to do and you can tell that's how they're coached and that's how they grow up playing in Lane County, it's how they always are. And they'll be tough no matter what. They have a great team coming back. It's gonna be a huge challenge for us, but we're looking forward to it. Um, I think this game will help us move in the right direction of where we need to be going. Um, they've got a solid inside-outside game, so we'll, we'll put together you know, our best shot and see what we can do. Across the county to Summertown, where the Eagles will be in the nest for the first time in the 2023-24 season as they're taking on Wade County. The Eagles will have its first boys and girls doubleheader on Tuesday night as the Wildcats will come to town. Both Summertown teams are 4-1 on the air and coming off Cornersville Thanksgiving tournament titles. Wayne County will make the trip with its girls at 3-0 and the boys will be at 3-1. Each Eagle team knows that Tuesday night will be a challenge for their old district and region foe and they hope to bring their A game and come out with a win. Absolutely, you know, Wayne County, an old rival. Uh, a lot like us, they got everybody back. You know, we split last year. They got us in overtime here last year. Uh, so it's going to be a really fun night, uh, an old District 12A rival. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be ready to go. They're, they're really good. They're good players. You know, Bogus down low is going to be be a tough matchup, but they got guards that can shoot it. So you can't really sit there and try to pick one person to stop. We just got to guard them uh, the way we're able to defend and offensively take care of the ball and get some open looks, and I think we'll be okay. Coming up next, we head on over to the college side of things as a local product put up a career high yesterday for North Alabama. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back to X Sports Tonight. Now over to Florence, Alabama, where North Alabama's basketball teams have been busy here in the first couple of weeks of the season. Yesterday, a Lawrenceburg native set up a career high as she made her second start for the Lions. 
Lawrence County's Katie Criswell went for a career high for North Alabama in their Sunday afternoon loss at UTEP. The true freshman had 11 points. That included going three for three from three-point range. This is the second straight game that Criswell has started for the Lions. Up next for North Alabama, they will head to Alabama A&M for a Wednesday afternoon contest. That does it for X Sports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow night. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.